what's up? It's a girl over here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Rebel Snow and Seven. In today's video, we're going over the brand new 1.20 snapshot for Minecraft, which adds armor trims, and we're gonna go over the patch notes. And they added a couple other things that are like kind of bug fixes, as you say, or just fixing stuff in general. And uh, yeah, quickly before we read the patch notes, I do want to mention that with this armor trims, uh, while we're gonna show all kind of different trims i may not show every single trim in this video with every single uh color if you look right here you have all these different kinds of trims and you have all the different materials you can use for trims and uh yeah and that's this is all the armor it works on it does not work on leather armor but uh yeah we're gonna be going over some of the different combinations you can use with this but not every combination so if you want to see every combination i would recommend trying this yourself and loading up into the new 1.20 snapshot and i'm pretty sure this is the snapshot is only available in java so if you don't have java i i don't know what to tell you but uh you can check it out if you have java edition but uh yeah let's go read the patch notes real quick and then we'll come back into minecraft and check out the trims all right so we are here on the minecraft page right now to check out the snapshot patch notes right here we have kind of an image of like what the armor looks like with different kinds of trims and stuff like that you have gold trims you have amethyst you have emerald and it looks pretty cool honestly so we're going to go over some of the things that they are adding in this snapshot one of the changes they added was the enchantment glint on items and armor is now more subtle so it never really bothered me it wasn't very bright in my opinion but apparently they just made it more subtle and now we're going to go to experimental features which added the new armor trimming system to visually customize your armor added smithing template items right this says smithing template items it does um just making sure uh redesigned the smithing table which you kind of saw did i see, show up before i don't think i did uh but basically it kind of has different slots now for adding the trim your armor and then the kind of item that you want to add with, that you want to make the trim out of so if you want to make a diamond trim on gold armor you can add a gold chest plate the trim you want and the uh the diamond so next up we have a uh, changed how netherite equipment is crafted which is kind of a big change they changed quite a bit with the crafting system so basically you cannot just throw a netherite ingot with a uh, diamond armor in the smithing table and get it you have to find a uh an upgrade for it which we're probably going to go over here so smithing templates uh, smithing tables have been redesigned into a workstation for physical equipment upgrades and modifications alongside slots for combining a piece of equipment and materials there is now a required slot uh, for an item called smithing templates smithing templates define what type of upgrade you'll be making to equipment it specifies both what type of items you can upgrade and which ingredients are valid to customize the upgrade there are currently uh, two categories of smithing templates armor trim and netherite upgrade uh, smithing templates are consumed when used to upgrade an item in the smithing table you can craft a copy of a smithing template in the crafting table with seven diamonds plus one block of material that, uh, that the template is made out of uh plus one smithing template uh which will output two of the same smithing template uh now we have the netherite equipment area netherite equipment crafting now also requires a netherite upgrade smithing template a netherite upgrade smithing templates can be found randomly in all bastion remnant chests and there's a guarantee of two in every treasure room bastion remnant this change was made for a variety of reasons to increase the time players utilize diamond equipment before netherite make netherite equipment a more significant achievement in the game's progression and to adapt netherite more naturally into the new smithing table crafting system which i totally agree with netherite armor was like super easy to get like it would take a little while but it was super easy to get you would get diamond armor you would go into the nether and you get netherite armor like not even a couple hours later so i'm kind of glad they made this change because now you have to explore a little more to get netherite armor and you're not just invincible the entire time uh so now we have the armor trim section you can now visually customize your armor with a variety of unique trims at the smithing table all armor is viable for trims except for leather armor which i mentioned before uh armor trims are purely visual with no gameplay benefit benefits oh my god i can't read <laughs> with no gameplay ben benefits and can only be applied to helmets chest plates leggings and boosts so you can't apply them to like weapons and stuff like that uh uh, let's see all trim patterns are visually the same on the armor's item icon but the color will still change based on the trim material to check uh, which trim pattern a piece of armor has you can hover over it in the inventory now we have 
armor trim smithing templates can be found all throughout the world and each of the following structures contain their own unique smithing template so a pillager outpost contains a sentry armor trim a desert pyramid contains a dune armor trim a shipwreck contains a coast armor trim a jungle temple contains a wild armor trim. An ocean monument contains a tide armor trim. An ancient city contains a ward armor trim. A woodland mansion contains a vex armor trim. The nether fortress contains a rib armor trim. A bastion remnant contains a snout armor trim. A stronghold contains an eye armor trim. And an end city contains a spire armor trim. Which is pretty cool how they make it, like, different... So, like you can get it in different places but you can only get one in each of these places i think that's cool uh next up we have smithing templates are found in chests in their respective structure except for the ocean monuments that are finding in chest El elder guardians sometimes drop a smithing template upon death some armor trim uh, smithing templates are rarer than others so be on the lookout for them to impress your friends and armor trim has two properties a pattern and material uh, so right here we have the pattern is defined by the smithing template used to apply the trim and represents the visual pattern of the trim. The material is defined by what ingredient used to apply the trim and represents the color of the trim. So you have the different templates and you can add whatever color you want to them. That's just basically what it's saying. And the viable ingredients you can use to define the color of your armor trim are the following. You have iron, copper, gold, lapis, emerald, diamond, netherite, redstone, amethyst, and quartz. And then uh, armor cannot have the same material it is made out of applied to the trim, which I was going to explain. And it has it right here. For example, a golden chest plate cannot have a golden armor trim. Can't really see it anyway, so that wouldn't make any sense. And these are technical changes that I didn't really bother reading over. But this is all the stuff I wanted to read over. So we're going to go back into Minecraft now and check out some of the cool designs we have for this. Because, I mean, that gold chest plate right there with the netherite on it looks kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. And the emerald goes really well with the iron. I don't know why, but yeah, we're going to go check it out now, so let's go. All right, so I am back in Minecraft right now. We're going to check out a couple combinations you can do with armor. You can also add it to chain armor, which I found kind of weird, so I kind of want to do that first. So we're going to do uh, maybe the same template for all this. I'm going to choose the ones that get my interest the most. Uh, let's see. Well, we have the netherite upgrade right here, which I'll actually show in a minute. Uh, let's see. What can we add to chain armor? That would look cool. Would quartz look cool? Maybe quartz. Let's try quartz. And I also forgot to grab some redstone. So let's, uh, redstone would be over here. So let's just put this up here really quickly. And so I have it. Uh, and what, which one should we use? Rib armor trim? I kind of want to look at that one. That looks, that seems cool. Okay, so first you add your trim right here. Then right here you put a piece of armor. So we're going to put the helmet, for example. And then we want to use quartz. So you put quartz there. Take the chainmail helmet out. And we can do the same thing for the rest of the armor like that and then you have it like this and i mean i guess the quartz is kind of hard to see Ooh, but you can, yeah it is a little hard to see with the quartz but you kind of you can kind of see it a little bit maybe i should try the rib one on something else because i uh, can't really see down chain armor can you uh but yeah no you can't add it to chain armor which i found a little weird uh but you know what it's fine can i add like let's say i want to change the trim color if i just do the same trim okay so you can change the trim color uh, so let's let's do this really quickly and it's a diamond to chain uh, Okay, so we can do like this so you can see it a little better now uh, Yeah, no, that actually looks kind of cool. So we have this to kind of show off the armor a bit Let's go like right here. So just get rid of it like that and next up. Let's go. Let's go with iron I did like the emeralds kind of look when with the picture from the snapshot I keep I need to move my thing over here. There we go. Uh, so let's go with emeralds. And let's see what trim we can use. We have tied armor trim. That sounds cool. I'm going to go with that one. So let's use some emeralds. Like this. And like that. And let's see how this looks. Ooh. That looks cool, actually. I like it. And as you can see, it doesn't make any changes. It doesn't give you extra armor. But like you said, like it said in the patch notes, uh, if you hover over it, it says tight armor trim and it says what material it has. Uh, so you know what kind of trim you have on it. It doesn't show up like when you have it in your hand like this, which is iron helmet. But when you go in your inventory and hover it, uh, it just shows it. And this is actually kind of cool. I like the tight armor trim on iron. And I love the emerald look. I don't know why. <laughs> it looks amazing. Okay. Let's go with gold. The next, I liked the look of the netherite with the gold uh, on, the, uh, on the picture. So let's try and go with that. We'll go with netherite and then let's go with the eye armor trim i want to see what that looks like because that really interested me when i saw it uh so we're gonna go put the trim there we're gonna put the golden helmet we're gonna put netherite so we're gonna go like this Ooh, 
I think this is gonna look pretty cool. Okay, let's put this on. Oh, does this add anything different to the helmet? Oh, it, it does. It adds something a little different. Uh, ooh, I kind of like it. These trims are pretty cool. I want to try them all out. Uh, I don't know if we'll have enough time in the video, though, but this looks pretty cool. Um, and you see it kind of has like an ender eye in the middle of it, which I find nice. What uh, would look cool with diamond armor? I want to try a lot of, you know what, let's go redstone. Redstone's a weird way. <laughs> redstone's a weird one to do. Uh, but let's go redstone. Uh, why not? And then, what trim? We have the spire, we have snout. You know what, I'm kind of curious about the snout one. Which one is the one you find? Coast armor trim. Which, I don't remember what, a oh, ward armor trim, it's the ward one. Okay, I wanted to see which one you find in the, in the, oh my god, I can't remember what it's called, where the warden is, the fortress, whatever it's called. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, weird combination, but you know what, let's, let's do it. And, it can, and right here, I probably should answer this, right here it shows what the armor will look like. Uh, but I want to see what it looks like with it all on. So, there we go. Ooh, actually, I just realized, depending on the material you use, the color of the text is different. That's, that's neat. And, okay, this is cool. I don't think the red fits very well. Maybe we should change the color. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's, let's see. Yeah. The quartz looks nice, though. I like the quartz. Um, I don't think the quartz would go, oh, it doesn't go well with the chain armor. And I doubt it would look good with the iron armor, because you can't really see it, because they're, like, the same color. Uh, but yeah, let's put this right here. And now, I've been saving this combination for last, because I really want to do it. I don't know what trim I'm going to use. But let's take the netherite armor. And we're going to add an amethyst trim to it. The amethyst, I think, looks really nice. And let's see, we have a snout armor trim, a spire, a sentry. Hmm. I'm not sure. The vex one kind of sounds weird, honestly. Uh, the wild armor. You know, let's try the wild one. I don't know. It seems fun. When I see the word wild in something, it seems kind of fun. So, let's go with that. Okay, now let's put it on and... Oh, okay. I think this is very simple. I like it. The amethyst look, looks great with the netherite. I think gold will also look great with netherite. Uh, but yeah, no, that's what it looks like. It looks very nice. I love these. The trims are awesome. They they just add like they're for decorative purposes. Yet they look so good, and I don't understand why. Um, okay. But if you know me and you've been watching me for a while now, you know I love kind of decorating and building stuff. I enjoy it a lot. And having a way to decorate my armor, the thing I wear to go out into battle, just makes me happy. <laughs> um, okay, and then there was the netherite uh, upgrade, which I will show right now. So let's grab some diamond armor right here. So we're just going to grab it like this. And then we're going to grab a netherite ingot. Uh, where is it? Right there. Let's just grab a stack. Hold on. Grab a stack like that. So basically, you cannot just throw armor and netherite into here. You have to get the netherite upgrade. You throw your armor in, you throw the netherite in, and then you can get it like that. Just like that. And then, ooh, wait. I saw two. Oh, wait, no, the tools are for netherite. Sorry. So you can use tools to make uh, netherite, but, you know, not you can't, like, add trims to the tools or anything like that. So, yeah, that's how you make a netherite in the new update. Day. let's just get rid of all of this and uh okay and i think that's pretty much it so these are some of the available trims uh very nice if i do say so myself and i i really like the netherite armor one i don't know why but it looks very cool so uh yeah i think that's pretty much it for the video that's pretty much all they added i think other than the enchantment glint which i guess i can show oh yeah it is a little less noticeable but to, but to me before i couldn't notice it at all and now it's just even less noticeable I could just, I could just be blind though, like I don't know. Uh, but yeah, no. So I guess the glint is a little different, and that was the only kind of change, I guess you could say. And these are all. Oh, I threw the helmet away. Oh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the snapshot. It is really fun. By the way, we are super close to 400 subscribers. Uh, time of recording, we are two subscribers away, and I'm pretty psyched about it. I have an idea. A bunch of subscribers already. And I have it planned out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to please subscribe to the channel when you do, click the notification bell and click all. See what I post a video on the channel. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>